Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds. See that? This was given to me by my grandmother in Christmas of 1936. The children were all nestled snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums, candy, danced in their heads. That's right. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. Seemed rushing to get out of bed. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. See, see he, there, go, there they go. See, they're going up to get up, get up on the roof to the chimney. There they are. See them? The moon's almost full. Now Dasher, that's right. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the willock, the wild hurricane fly, when they mount and, and meet with an obstacle, let's try that over. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet an obstacle, mount to the sky, and so up to the housetop his coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then I heard, in a twinkle, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. See all the toys? What's a peddler? Guy that goes around the, around the countryside selling all kinds of stuff. They call them peddlers, used to. They don't have, you don't see them anymore now. And there they are. See that? And there's old Santa. Thank you. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were all ro like roses and his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. See him there? Look at him giving this guy the eye. He had a broad 
face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was a chubby, he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. See him laughing up there? A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. See him putting, hanging up the stockings? Filling the stockings with to toys and candy, sugar plums, he called them. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and he filled all the stockings, and then he turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down on a thistle. But I heard him, heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. There he is there. Yeah, that's right, there he is, you can see him. Makes a good story. It's a good story, isn't it? That's an old book, Catherine.